we're about to go in lay down lay down hi guys so i have a lee doll haul um i was really contemplating really hard if i wanted to go there because it's not um nearby our Aldi is still renovate, not re um, remodeling, and so they won't be open to the end of October. I miss it so much, and um, but Lidl is also German founded or also a German company um, that has came to the U.S. And they are supposed to be a little bit cheaper than Aldi. I did see a lot of things that were cheaper. I was going to take you guys in there, but when we went to the front doors it said that it was no videography or photography so i was disappointed in that um yeah but some people do have youtube videos on it maybe one day i'll try to take you guys in there but i didn't want to get in trouble and plus i also whenever i'm in the store especially for the first time i like to soak it in um I'm juggling Josiah at the same time. I'm also trying to make sure I stick to a budget. So all of that at the same time. So usually that's why I don't take you guys in the store. But when our Aldi has a new, um, when they op reopen up, I will um, take you guys in there and maybe Lidl. So um, this Lidl is 30 minutes um, away. And it wasn't that bad as we thought. So next time we'll make a trip out of it. Maybe go to Hobby Lobby and then um, Food for Less. Um, try that store out. I heard great things. So a classmate of mine, Cammie, told me about um, she did go to Lidl and that it was worth the trip and what she tried. I didn't get the chicken strips. I was really disappointed though when I went in because, um, not when I went right away, but we were really shocked because it has a bakery in the front. Um, which is really impressive. We did pick up a cookie. So they do have large chunk cookies. I'm trying to see what that is. Um, large chunk cookies, um, chocolate chip. They also have, was it, what was it, mama? Oatmeal raisin and macadamia. And these were, how much were these, ma? 60. These were, yes, I am. How much were they? 59 cents. And the donuts, they were really good. They didn't look like they were that great. But they um, only picked up two 49 cents. Me and Sias shared one. So, um, Mama said the cookies were okay. They weren't all that. Um, so, I spent a total of $50. That was actually my budget. And um, I was disappointed what I was meant to say earlier because they did not have ground turkey out. And I know they have ground turkey because I watched a couple of hauls and they did not have the family packs of meat. They only had like the one pound. Um, and she said they had to reset everything. And I was kind of confused. And I was like, is there more meat somewhere else like the fresh meat? And she was like, no, it's all here. And we do carry it because, you know, I didn't want to keep going there and be disappointed. Just already know if they have... Um, family packs of meat beforehand so I can just go somewhere else so anyway let me show you what I get um, got with the haul and try to give you guys the prices because I noticed when I was watching the hauls that was really important for me when I never been there before you also you do not use a quarter for the carts um, but you do bag your own you put your own groceries on the belt they ring it up they do not sit the cashews don't sit down like Aldi and they also don't um they don't put your stuff in a cart it's like two separate belts and you have to put your own stuff back in your buggy so that's something you want to prepare for if you're getting a whole lot of stuff by yourself um so i picked up two of the honey wheat which was 85 cents and this bread you can tell it is denser that it is um heavier and i think it's made i can't remember i can't remember what exactly what she told me, but one of Jason's co-workers, his wife, when they had a get together, she mentioned, she's from Germany, and she mentioned how she loved the bread and the bakery and how it's so much different from Americanized bread. So I can tell immediately, I did pick up some hot dog bread. You can tell it was really heavy. It was heavier, um, which I think she said it has better, fresher ingredients and stuff like that. 
um the potato fries these were 155 so i think all these is like 129 or something like that i picked up some paper towels these are like 49 cents i picked up two of these um green peppers they were 45 cents i also looked at their flyer and they also have coupons where you can clip as well as long as you download the app and so i um this was 264 which was really great price it's compared to tide and i saw where one lady had two of them and i should have picked up two because that's it smells really great i hope it cleans great and that's a great price that was on sale this weekend the roman tomatoes were only 85 cents guys the great tomatoes were one something great price as well this dull romaine hearts this was a really good price too it's like only a dollar uh 169 really good price um they also have organic stuff too as well and it's just a little bit more the cola i really don't know why i picked it up but it was 59 cents so i picked that up and then today because it's saturday they're gonna have like chips and sandwiches because i'm not cooking and this was a variety pack which is larger so it is a 1.4. It's only it's only one pound. No, it feels like it's two pounds. But you get the lean um, smoked ham and honey turkey breast, and they had another variety pack where it was a different type of turkey and a different ham, and it was 4.99. And then their ham was ranging from two dollars and twenty-five cents to three dollars and nineteen cents. So if you want the smaller sizes also this was this week's special where the pepperoni they don't have they do have other um pizzas and i should have looked but um i knew that the pepperoni was 99 cents so i picked up the family um three of those okay it's 69 cents then the spaghetti which i thought was a great um buy for 32 ounces you can get spaghetti like dirt cheap especially when it's um with coupon and stuff like 50 cents name brands and stuff but this was like only a dollar and some change and then also um picked up the fig bars they didn't have a lot of different choices like aldi does like aldi may be a smaller store the larger stores the new stores are larger but they have so much jam packed in those stores that um this store was a new store so maybe they will get more things but they did not have like a lot of different choices of like their cookies and their baking stuff um they did not see like gravy packets and chili packets even though you can make your own um they just didn't have a lot of different stuff like i didn't see grits and i'm like if you want to come to the south you got to have some grits um i can make i can for 99 cents for some grits i can make a meal several meals out of that so this was like um the fig bars i'll try to link the price guys because it's taking me a while to find it then the sharp cheddar cheese was only like a dollar and some change um they did have many selections of the cheese but i think still hands down aldi has more specialty cheeses and you know what this is turkey pepperoni but that's fine i just realized that so yeah that's fine and then this was like 309 the center cut bacon they had different selections of these and then the pork sausage um i also went there to get this because um cammy my classmate from high school she was showing me um on facebook that these were only like 2.99 now i did you can get chicken wings like for little or nothing especially if they're 69 cents or less a pound um that's about the size if you can make out what they are so some chicken wings are super big the fresh ones um again you see how much it is in the bag but um that's fine you may need two if you have a larger family like i probably should have got two but the chips cami said that they were stale so i had to try them for myself and see all of them are not the same price like most of all these are mm, sort of the same price but these were 79 cents and then these were 89 or 85 cents the sour cream cheddar 
um, chips. And usually Aldi chips are like 109 or something like that. I did on the way out pick up some syrup and some pancake mix. Um, one thing I don't really care for at Aldi is their pancake mix. But my family will eat them if I doctor them up. Add some butter or something. Last couple of things. Creamy peanut butter. Um, they did have honey creamy peanut butter and they did have the large size my family goes through this really quick but I just wanted to um, stick to my budget also they had a larger ketchup and they had a smaller one this is the large one I'm sorry so this was like a dollar and some change and they had one for like 85 cents and I didn't get um, I just got the large one and then the spaghetti sauce they had of course organic different ones I only saw in this particular type jar that was for 85 cents they had only mushroom and traditional they didn't have like meat um like aldi does and it was something else i didn't see where they had they had a lot of selection of canned goods but i didn't see where they had crushed tomatoes i could have overlooked it but i didn't see that or the little can of tomato sauce like aldi has um so my opinion by the first time there are some things that i will go back and try um especially if i really like it uh, the only thing i taste right now was half of that donut um and it was good it was surprisingly good and mama had her oh let me show you what mama got she had her tea what kind of tea you have mama let's go see okay so mom picked up a diet cola i did ask um some people close to us if they tried it before they said to try the diet cola and it was good um they were really stocking up on some different stuff they had ginger ale they had they, and they had more name brand stuff it looks like to me and then mama also picked up some herbal tea she was just saying she wanted to try the good night um how much was this ma she probably don't remember i think it was like was it 149 yeah, I mean, it was great prices for their um, K-Cup pods and also their um, herbal tea. So, I'll see if I can get the price and um, write it down. She didn't spend but like $9. And so, the sampler was peppermint, lemon, goodnight, and chamomile. And it was another sampler as well. She didn't get that one. She, um, she just got one this time. But she said it is worth. So, let me see which one did she try. Mm, so it's five of each so she tried the lemon herbal tea and she liked that one she picked up she loves coffee y'all she picked up coffee about anywhere she go the donut shop single cup coffee pods medium roast and then she picked up some tortilla restaurant style chips and then she picked up some fig bars as well and she used a box to put her stuff in and then i think she picked up all three of the cookies um the macadamia and um something else macadamia chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin i said that before so this is the paper for next week they're gonna have drumsticks um and family pay for 69 cents a pound the grapes were cheap today but they weren't as cheap as they are next week i won't flip through the whole book but their book is thicker but i did notice that they have a lot of non-food stuff in their store um i think still as of right now aldi still has them beat hand down but um they just have to grow on me i think it was one thing in here and i was like ooh what was it oh i wanted one of these for but i don't know how much they are at walmart for the boys i realized that they don't have a over the door mirror in their room and their produce seemed like it was really great price um but i was trying to get stuff to make a meal plan so next time i'll get more produce and um or meal plan with recipes that's what i was trying to do today so they have a lot of they're gonna have mums for $2.99 they have pumpkins for $2.49 today so lots of different things so guys I try to um, 
see if I can take you guys with me next time. I don't know. But definitely share with you. So thanks so much for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.